Ah, good evening, Dalek Sky YouTube channel uh, viewers. Well, today is going to be another little tutorial on <laughs> how long it takes to take all the lovely Dalekanium off, or Dalek Hemispheres, whichever you like to call it. Repaint both this and this, and to take all that off, and the battery. Uh, and all that fun, because why not? So today, uh, I'm only going to be showing you only a little bit, because otherwise you'd be here for all Christmas. Uh, <laughs> I don't want, you go, don't want to bore you guys to tears. Uh, so all electronics have got to come out first before we end up taking all the diacanium off. Because it will have to take all the diacanium off due to the fact that we are actually repainting. Well, correction, I'm repainting. I'm just going to set you down here. Hang on a minute. Hello. Don't pick you guys down there. Oh, wrong way. Hang on. There we go. Hello. So I have to take out the lovely Mark mod, and that's what makes the voice go X A. Um. So that's 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 very important. If I lose that, I'm sort of buggered. Uh, that's fine. It goes there. There's the headset that makes the voice go voiceness of oh, voiceness. Ah, uh, so that's can go up there. Uh, let's go to the speaker. Which I will unplug in a minute. Because that's also important. This is the dark blaster sound effect. So if I press this lovely big red button, examine it and you know, general extermination. Because yeah uh <laughs> this this is power so this is connected to the head and the lights lovely little wire here this goes down to the bottom of it this goes down to the skirt this goes down to the base lights which we don't really use because well we haven't been to really much events and it's kind of new so there's the new so far um so now that's done now <laughs> it's the fun part <laughs> First of all, I'm going to unplug the wire that connects to the speaker. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to keep that there. So, my job today is to basically check the dilacanium. And if the glue is well holding, it's well holding English, uh, um, it's holding well in the actual dilacanium. And we take it out. And I'll show you an example of what I mean. So, the diacanium shouldn't be able to come out at all. It should be stuck in there. I mean properly stuck in there. Make sure it does not move, does not come out. Because what happens is, if you just stay there. See this one, perfectly nice and new. That comes off normally. See that? See this is a nice new one, right? Boop. It does that, you got a problem. All that around there is glue, so I'm going to take that glue off, re-glue it back into the actual dilacanium, stick this back on, screw it, with a bolt, not a bolt, a nut, and then you've got a brand new dilacanium. So that's going to, that's going to go on my pile of things starting to do. Whereas the dilacanium, I've only just taken off, I'm going to be putting, uh, good question actually, I'm going to put it inside the skirt, it's going to go in there. Uh, so I'll take all that off, though I'm only going to take three or four off just to show you guys, but obviously in my spare time I'm going to have to take all of it off, which you don't really want to do because it's a pain. Right, it takes a good hour to take all these off. That's okay. That's my responsibility to do. There's another one. See, look at that. Look at that. Nice, perfect. Perfect. So I've got to check some of these dilacanium. If they're, if they're a little bit uh, rubbish, they're a little bit, you know, uh, what's the word? Uh, like scratches on it or anything like that. I need to repaint them. Um, hopefully none of them should actually have any issues that I can see so far. 
but obviously when it comes to it, I have to repaint some of them. That's fine. Got some lovely gold paint and stuff. I'm going to take some off here, and then I'm going to quickly switch to what we're going to do next. That's another perfect one. No problems on that, I don't see. Right. Come with me. Go on. Should have put my fingers in the way. Right, yeah, there we go. Sorry. Um, okay, so what we're going to do next is that we're going to figure something out. Um, we're going to check with the garlic blaster. And the blaster here is perfect. As you can see, it's got black on it. It's actually quite good, actually, isn't it? Um, as you can see here, see that? Yeah, that's going to come off. That's black paint. That's not doesn't look very nice. Check about the camera angle on rubbish at the moment. I'm only just brain still working up. <laughs> uh but yeah, as you can see some of that paint job needs to be redone, so it's not very good. But that's okay, that's fine. Uh oh, there we go. Zoom in. Zoom out. I don't know what I'm doing. It's it's, it's me waking up, right? <laughs> as you see Sometimes it leaves a little big ring, you see that? Big ring? Yeah, it's a pain. That, that there is annoying. That is uh, a little spot in the dark that always chips away at the paint. It's really, it's really annoying. But it's something that we can do. Uh, but as you can see, we can chip that away and get it all sorted. Uh, there's another one there. But yeah. So, we've got to lower the mobility scooter as well. That's got to be lower down so that we can put that on it. That's a nice comfy seat. I need a comfy seat. Dark scar over there. Just just generally being over there. That's about it, really. And, uh, yeah. Hopefully we can sort things out. Um, I'll probably do another video when I've taken all the Dalek Onion off. And then I'll, put, I'll extend it to this video. As it is, and then it will look like you, I'm, um, you know, magic, ooh, magic. Uh, <laughs> but yes, so Dark Scar is getting his work done today, and then uh, I'll do the rest whenever I can. Okay, see you in the next bit. Bit. Welcome to uh, the second day of repainting Dalek. So as you can see, all these lovely Dalekanium here, or Dalek hemispheres, as previously mentioned. Um, now, you're watching this and it'd be basically all in one video. For me, it's been uh, a day. So today, I'm going to show you what I've been doing. So we've got some lovely of Hammerite smooth gold. The reason why we have smooth gold is because it makes it a bit more reflective. Makes it a bit more shiny, as you can see. As you can see, we've just, I've just spray printed that. So look, can you see that reflection there? That is exactly what we want from our Dalek Um or Dalek Hemisphere, whichever you like to call it. I just, I just, I'm, call them, I'm just going to call them Dalek, um, Dalek Anium because it sounds cooler. Uh, <laughs> so right here we have one that needs to be repainted. As you can see this little scratch box here. And then we have this one. Now, this is a brand new one. Never, ever been touched. The reason why it's got a bit of gold in it is because the spray can is a spray can. So it sprays things. <laughs> well, at least I hope so. Uh, now this over here is basically paint remover because this one here i think i think so see that one other one there decided to think it's funny to fall on the floor because gravity is evil um so i've had to completely get that back down to black again because it is under all these gold paint oh all the game oh yeah all the gold is uh, i don't know if all the gold is black uh because that's how they originally came um so i've had to scratch it back down to black basically base color um and then with, with that stuff um and then read all of it again so hopefully it comes up quite nice um and you'll probably see in the next video whenever um so we're going to try and do that so i'll show you so that's i'll show you that in a second first of all i'm going to show you what happens with the old dalekanium so this one here as you can see it's not been touched yet now that inside there is super glue or hot with a hot glue gun uh which is very useful and very strong so that's not going to be coming out anytime soon 
excuse the dog it's just his chunk we love him but his chunk okay those two die coming in there are very important they hold in basically all the wiring and all that that's why their bolts their, their, their bolts over here are stronger uh, and longer than these ones I'll show you the size comparison sounds a bit cheeky but it's not <laughs> um so yeah uh yeah we should just show you how, to, how we do this so light spraying so you guys can see it sorry if it's like zooming out and all that <laughs> Oh, and by the way, for all you Dalek Scar viewers, we've got some good news. So, in July the 11th, I know it's in, I know it's in the 11th. I do believe it's in July. I'll have to check on that. But we've got a an event actually booked. Uh, it's going to be a Comic Con, and we're going to be joined by Dalek Draco, who is a nice, lovely black Dalek. Uh, not it's not he's he's a replica of Dalek Sec, but there's a few changes here and there. But he is uh, a Dalek on his own, so he's not he's not. He's technically, a black Dalek isn't actually based off Dalek Sec. There have actually been variations of a black Dalek that aren't Dalek Sec. Dalek Sec is just a name given to one of the Cold Star. Some of you guys knew that. Some of you guys didn't. Anyway, so this lovely. See, look at this. Look, not even a single bit done to it not one bit now eventually when this is all spray painted and all uh well non-sticky i'm going to be adding this thing to it which is what is inside every single one of these dialecanium that go onto the skirt eventually and now uh, this thing is put in there a demonstration yeah a demonstration so it goes in there and hot glue gun is basically glued all around it so it doesn't come out and then a bolt, uh, a bolt, a nut is put on top of here, and then as soon as that's done, uh, yeah, uh, it goes onto the skirt somewhere, like level four or something. Like that. well, that's four point one. So I'm going for the Dalek. Uh, hang on. That's one, two, three, four. So it go here. This one here. This one right there, that is where it will go. Number 4.1. Now, back to spraying and praying. Safety first. Now this stuff is stinks. So uh, if you are going to spray, uh, wear a mask uh, or get an adult to help you. I'm doing neither because A, I'm an adult. Well, I hope I am. Uh, and I'm not wearing a mask because I'm an idiot. Uh, <laughs> Don't ask me. Is it outdoors? Try and try and do it in outdoors weather. That way the air, the fumes just go into the air. But unfortunately, the only side effect of that is uh, is rain. And as we live in Britain, it likes to rain quite a lot here. It's it's annoying, very annoying. But here we go. So ooh, move that close up. Ooh, camera work. Now this probably needs another coat later on, but for now, we're just going to completely, completely cover that in gold. Look at that. Look at that. Now that's going to look absolutely fantastic when done. Hopefully you guys are able to see that my camera work wasn't too sh rubbish. And as you can see, there's a wind, as you can see. Look at that. Wind likes to uh, think it's funny to... Uh, be a pain that's okay sorry about that little stop there i had to uh deal with my phone i decided to think it's funny to stop recording for no reason i think um, one, um, one of my friends tried to rang me i do appreciate that appreciate that apologize for that english um now what we also like to use is this lovely stuff now this is basically the tinned version of it something like a food product uh, this is the tinned version so uh, for this, you've probably seen me use this before. That or the black version, the black paint version. Again, smooth. Um, gold, so, you know, that's important. Um, but that's all ready now. That's all done. That will need another coat because protection. Sorry about that. Apologies. Um, protection from basically the elements. That lot. 
Um, so that will need no protection. The rest of them can go straight back on the Dalek as soon as it's as soon as the base is repainted, which I will either do tomorrow or later on, and I will record that for you guys. Um, but yeah, so thank you very much for uh, joining. Off to the next video. So see you all then. Or oh, well, yeah, <laughs> for you guys it'll be like a couple of seconds. For me it's been like a few hours. Right, ta-ra. Okay, so. Uh... It's been a few hours now since my last uh, video I uploaded. Well, it's all going to be one collection, but you guys are going to see, you know, it as one video. For me, it's been a few hours. Okay, so the next step that I'm taking in is still in the Dalek Canyon. And it's this. As you might recognise, this is 8.4, which means it's the bottom of number 8. Now, there's some of the stuff. Now this stuff is very, 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 very good. And what it is, it's hot glue gum, as I've explained in the last video, I think. I can't remember. And now and again, we get dilacanium that look like this. Now this hasn't got any hot glue gun. This is just glue. <laughs> just no hot. Just it's it's not it's not hot. <laughs> um like me. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, anyway, so um, this is a standard one, but it doesn't need hot glue gun because it's quite strong. So by strong, I mean it doesn't come out of the holder. Um, obviously, this bit comes off. Let me just uh, let me just place you down here. Hello. I know it's me, right? It's, it's horrible. <laughs> there you go. Now, that doesn't need any hot glue gun because, as you can see, that's not coming off anytime soon. There's no need to replace it with a hot glue gun in order for it to stay. So it's, it's fine. Whereas this one down here, ta -da! rubbish glue, rubbish holder doesn't hold. Now, this bit you definitely need an adult, a responsible adult at that. You need one of these. Now, as you can see, I've already been bitten by this thing. Don't worry, I'm not going to show anything bad. Just been bitten already. Duck. Been bitten by the blade. <laughs> so I'm going to cut all that off. And as you can see, that as you can see, we do. And it's, you shouldn't do that. So that's going to have to be hot glue gun. Hot glue gun collection over there. So that, that's going to go there in a minute. Now, once all these have been hot glue gunned and all, all are, are good and ready to go, then they go up there. One of them, they've got the, go on the base. And those ones up there are just drying off. Let's zoom in. They're just drying off. They're a little bit flaky, but you can kind of see. They're a little bit flaky, but that's, that's okay. That's what we want. Uh, but you saw those earlier on the last video, so you don't need to remind. I don't need to remind you what goes where. Now, somehow I'm going to magically transform into a human. Uh, magically. Ta da! Magically, I'm human. Um, where's the one I just had? I've lost it. Of course, I lost it. Uh, is it that one? No. Is it that one? No. Is it that one? No. Where'd it go? Oh. It's over here. Now, this bit, please get an adult. A responsible adult. Like that. Don't be a stupid and do what I did and cut myself. Like an idiot. Uh, what you want to do, you wanna, I'm just taking off the whole route run. You can obviously, you can pick it off, but it's a little bit more difficult. I tend to use uh, a blade because it gets it off a lot easier. A lot easier. It's very difficult to get off glue from something that has been stuck to it for so long. Uh, yes. Don't worry, I will show you the finishing results in a second. Just making sure that it looks... 
very nice for you guys. Uh, come on, you. Sit. There we go. Very carefully, don't quit yourself. <laughs> don't be an idiot. Like me. Okay, that looks nice. Right. There you go. Looks better, look at that. You see that? It's not fully off because I don't really want it. It doesn't really need all of it off. It just needs the tension of, you know, it just needs a little bit of tad of. And look, there you go. There's the glue that held it together. It's even got little holes in it. Stab. <laughs> I'm immature. Leave me alone. <laughs> I'm joking, don't leave me. Um, but as you can see, also, look. Needs glue. It doesn't need gluing. Well, it does need gluing. And it needs painting. So it's going to be a double job. Great. Um, that's not going to be an issue, though. So these ones here are all ready to go. And they haven't got hot glue on them. But at some point in history, at some point in time, they will need a hot glue gun to make them more stable. Yeah, more stable. And more um, sufficient. And you're probably wondering why I'm just doing this quickly. It's because uh, the dilacanium is a bit chunky. A bit of a chunky dilacanium. There's nothing wrong about being chunky at all. But unfortunately, if it doesn't, if I don't just slim it down just a little bit, it won't work. And what happens is that the paint, the black paint for these bits gets stuck on the dilacanium. And that can be a pain. So there you go. See, that's what happens. See, yep. Perfect now. Now, that looks stable. So I'm going to leave that because that is fine. I don't need to make any alteration to that except from the actual rings. The sacred rings. <laughs> it's either the power rings or the or, uh, halo rings. The rings of power. Or the green lantern rings. Well, black lantern. But yes. So they're all ready to go. Now, this one may or may not uh, need paint, oh, not paint, uh, gluing. What I am going to do is I am probably going to put it on the glue side. By the way, everybody, I may, 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 may run a competition and you get a prize. Third prize, you get that's broken. Uh, no. Third prize, we'll get a video from a Cyberman to their personal uh, self, to to them, to to that person. Uh, third, uh, s second prize, we'll get a video from Dalek Scar, a personalised video. And the third, no, first, we'll get an actual Dalekanium. Painted and signed by um, Dark Scar himself. Well, me, but we say it's Dark Scar. And that'll be sent to you in the post. Um, all entries, all countries could enter. Uh, in order to get said prize, uh, just think about it. If you, yeah, okay, in order to win said prize, uh, you need to tell us, right, tell us when we got Diet Scar. So when, so when was the exact date we got Diet Scar? Don't have to worry about time because that'd be a pain because I don't remember the time. Um, but if you can tell us in the comments below when Diet Scar was actually, like, brought, like, we actually picked him up from his original home and brought him here get the same day so if you can tell us first person to tell us gets obviously a signed dilacanium uh third second second gets a actual uh contact 
uh, by Dark Scar, and a third gets it from General Crow. So it's a little little prize for you guys because you deserve it because you've been so much support. So if you guys can do that. That'd be grand. And if you can't do it, that's okay. You know, it's okay. Whoever gets the closest date or the actual date, you get a prize. So there's your prize. Uh, the way to contact us is either by emailing Dark Scar, so me, uh, or uh, going for our Facebook and YouTube, not Facebook, Facebook, yeah, Facebook and uh, uh, Messenger. So feel free to contact us on there. We're looking forward to your response. And yeah, and you get a free Dalekanium. Mm. <laughs> Ends up needing said Dalekanium. <laughs> No, I will purposefully go out. I will purposely go out and get one, um, and actually like paint it and actually sign it for you. Right, found it. Do you win? Do you get one dollar canium? Uh, unfortunately, it can't come with a ring because of it's literally uh, needing the rings. Um, I will try and find a substitute for that. But yes. So you win a Dalekanium. This Dalekanium right here. This lovely, shiny gold Dalekanium. Mm, yes, look at that. Pristine. Perfection. Um, but yeah. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoy. And uh, enjoy the giveaway as well. Competition. You guys deserve it. Love you guys. Thank you very much. And uh, see you all in the next video. Geronimo. Ooh, look at my artwork. Fantastic.